buttock pants. Today video, we will work on some ABO discrepancy problems. We have been talking about ABO discrepancy for a while. Today, we will go over step by step how to solve ABO discrepancy problem. This is just a guide to help you approach when you see an ABO discrepancy. I have some examples for both the discrepancy in the forward typing and the reverse typing. I will also include timestamp in the description box down below as usual. Without further ado, let's get into it. In the previous weeks, we have been talking about ABO discrepancy. A discrepancy exists when the results of the forward and the reverse doesn't agree with one another. The patient blood type is not conclusive. So before we can assign a blood type to a patient, we have to solve this problem. Also, before we can give a type-specific blood to a patient, we have to solve ABO discrepancy problem first because we want to provide safe and compatible units for the patient. Here are some steps to work on ABO discrepancies problem. First, repeat the forward and reward type. Do not forget to wash the cells before repeating the forward typing. If the discrepancy goes away, you can report the results. Second, if the discrepancy persists, record the reactions, whatever you got, and continue to the next step. Third, get patient history, like patient age, recent transplant, recent transfusions, or any health conditions that the patient have. Fourth, identify if the problem is coming from the patient forward type or reverse type by looking at the reactions. Ask yourself if you are looking at a weaker than expected reactions or a missing reaction. Then follow the guidelines as we talked in the previous video. Let's take a look at some examples of ABO discrepancy problems. Take a moment to look at this reactivity. You can pause the video if you need more time. What blood type do you think the patient have? And how would you approach this problem? So when you look at this reaction, there's no reactions in either forward or reverse. When you're looking at the forward reactions, you get O blood type. When you're looking at the reverse typing, we get an AB blood type. The red blood cells antigen is usually reacting really strongly. So my first thought is missing reactions in the reverse typing. This means that the patient is potentially type O, but missing anti-A and anti-B in the patient's serums or plasma. I will assume that I did everything correctly and I get the same reactivity when I repeat. First, check the age of the patient and the patient diagnosis. Second, incubate the test at room temperature for 30 minutes or at 4 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes or you can do both. Third, read the reaction again. If the reverse come up, you can tell that the patient is group O with weak expressions in the reverse typing. What are the possible causes of this weak reactions of group O? First, the very young and elderly patient usually have weak expressions in the reverse typing. This is because the newborn does not make antibody until 4 months of age. And that's why we do not routinely do a reverse typing on a newborn. Also, as the person grows older, the immune system does not function as well as before. So we can see a weaker expression of the patient antibody. And that's why some of the elderly patients, the reverse does not come up. Also, this type of reactions can also see in a patient who is taking immunosuppressed drug. Second problem. Again, take a look at these reactions. What do you think the patient blood type is? And what would you do to solve the ABO discrepancy? You can pause the video if you need more time. First thing, write down the type for the forward and the reverse. The forward give you type A and the reverse give you type AB with a weak reactions in A1 cells. 
it is more likely to have an unexpected reaction in the reverse typing because the reverse type in one cell is a weaker than all the other reagents. Here are some steps to solve the problem. First, type patient with anti-A1 lactin. Second, Use the patient serums or plasma and type with A1 and A2 cells. Once you do that, if the results come up as no agglutination with anti-A1 lactin and agglutination with A1 cells, your patient blood type is A2 with anti-A1 antibody. How about if you see this type of reaction? What do you think the patient blood type is? Take a moment to take a look. You can pause this video if you need more time. You have example where there was no reactions, and now you have example where they all react. The forward gives type AB, and the reverse gives type O. What would you do? We have discussed this in the previous video. There are a few possibilities that can cause this type of reaction. The common ones are Lulo and co-antibody. So you will take a look under microscope. If you see morphology of a stacking of red blood cells, mean you have a Lulo. We can solve this problem by perform saline replacement. Once you perform saline replacement, you should not see agglutinations, and that's confirmed your suspicions of Lulo. Possible cause of Lulo is patient condition such as multiple melanoma or antigas. For co-antibody, you can test this subspecies by incubate the reverse at 37 degrees Celsius or perform the test using a pre-warm technique. If the reaction disappears, then you are more likely to have a co-antibody, which can be confirmed by perform co-panel. Okay, one more example. What would you do if you see this type of reaction? The forward gives you type AB with a weak expression in antisera B and the reverse gives you type A. Looking at these reactions, I would suspect that the problem is in the forward type. There is an unexpected reaction in antisera B. Here are the steps to solve the problem. Check patient history for lower gastrointestinal problems or septicemia. If the patient has history of lower gastrointestinal problems or septicemia, then it is possible that the patient has an acquired B. To solve this problem, repeat the forward typing in acidic environment, and type B in acidic environment only react with true group B person. Thank you for staying with me until the end. What do you want to know next? Do you want to know more about blood bank, chemistry, or microbiology? If you have any burning question, please feel free to leave me a comment down below. Lastly, if you have not done so, please like, share, subscribe, and click that notification bell. I will see you in the next episode of Blood Talk. Have been learning my fellow blood bankers. As always, remember, your blood tells you the story of your health. Thanks for watching. Bye.